My name is Laurie Maley, and I am the daughter of Cami Otto. My mom was a very strong woman. She was never dependent on anybody else, her, almost her whole life. I mean, she if you wanted to get something done from uh, building a dollhouse for me, my mom did it. Um, my dad did the stickers, but my mom, she was the builder, and she took care of the nuts and bolts of things, you know? They were a great team in that way. Mom had been in the hospital two times in the two years preceding when we contacted hospice. And um, she had a list of 10 different um, diagnoses. COPD, so that was probably her biggest um, stumbling block because she couldn't breathe. I was approaching a time in my life where I wasn't gonna be able to be here all the time. And my brother, Ron Otto, made the phone call on Monday and on Tuesday, Hospice of the Bluegrass was here interviewing our family. And then on Wednesday, it was, they were here and they were a part of our lives. I was at a Rotary Club luncheon and it, by happen chance, the, uh, the guest speaker was from Hospice of the Bluegrass. And uh, it was a very eye-opening moment for me. I actually had a lot of preconceived ideas about hospice and they were all kind of you know, put the rest. It was just such a well-oiled machine. You know, they came in and sat us down. They talked the facts. They enjoyed my mom and dad. Um, I could tell right away that the nurse made a connection with my mom, and that was huge. I mean, to make a connection with somebody who's in denial that they have anything wrong, and then all of a sudden to have her say, okay, bring the equipment in. You know, so we all, the, all of a sudden we had um, nebulizers, we had medicine that was going to help her, we had people here kind of taking care of her and making her feel safe, and making her feel comfortable. That was huge and it happened almost overnight. It was making sure that, that, you know, that they could have their lives, that all of us could enjoy my mom as our mother, opposed to, you know, being our patient. It was nice that she, when she had her final days and her final months here, she spent a lot of time, um, we called it the perch, and she would look out there at the lake and enjoy seeing the kids and the action of the day. To me, hospice has completely changed in my mind. They helped us where we were. If we needed oxygen, it kind of made you nervous. Are we ready for that? But hospice made us so comfortable with making those decisions because they've almost I mean, sometimes they did hold my hand, but you know, it was, they were always there. They were always there. You could call them any time of day. Um, if you're struggling with your parent and you're struggling not knowing, or with a family member not knowing, you know, where to turn, hospice is a great place to turn. Start it early. I mean, as soon as you believe that your loved one qualifies or could, could use that helping hand, make the call, you know, reach out, find out. I mean, the worst thing it can, you can be told is no and call us back in a little bit. It was just amazing what it did for our family. It just alleviated so much tension and pressure and nervousness about what to do next. They helped us a lot.